Yeah, Steve followed New York, had the club call the scene, was my manager at that point. He flew down to Houston and uh, said he wanted us to come to New York, and we were real glad to do that. Did you record immediately? Not immediately, no. It was, it was about a year after that that we signed with Columbia. And was the Fillmore gig the first time at the Fillmore around that time? First time I ever played the Fillmore was with Mike Bloomfield. Oh, really? I sat in with him. Oh, it was a great place. What was that like? Did you feel like you'd made it? Oh, yeah. Nah, Steve wanted me to play more rock and roll, and the band I had wasn't a rock and roll band. It was a blues band, and after a couple of years, uh, he had the McCoys stand up at his house right next to mine, and we just started jamming together and decided that would be a good thing for us to get together. Rick is a good blues player. Oh, yeah, he is. Well, it just worked out fine. And you worked with him for quite a while. Yeah, we did. And you're still doing stuff, right? Oh, we've played together once in a while, yeah. 